All right. Well, a good hat is like a good pair of shoes. You find a style you like and you just stick with it. That's right. Last Stand Hats in Austin has been a bit in business for a little less than a year now. But they are already making a name for themselves. In today's Take This Job, I join Last Stand owner Mike Murphy to see how these great hats are made. What I knew when I started the company, you need, you need three things. You need a brand someone can get behind, good product, and then the third thing is customer service. And there have been a lot of customers to provide service to. I wanted to sell five hats a week. I wanted to get to 20, 25 a month. Murphy did that and then some. Since January, Last Stand Hats has sold more than 5,000 of these custom lids. He likes to refer to his customers as his last stand family. I wanted to get to the point, Brian, if you're wearing a hat and you happen to see someone else wearing that hat, you walk up and give him a high five. The name Last Stand comes from a painting he used to see in his grandfather's home. His grandfather always reminded him of what's important in life. Have integrity, stand up for the little guy, stand up for your family. Obviously, you've got a pretty good system going here. Is there something I could do? to help you do the job today. Well, Brian, I, I was going to get on a couple of these websites and look for help, but now that I have you, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I've got some jobs I can do. I've actually printed out a couple hats. The hats are all made individually in this room, which just so happened to be his wife's former yoga studio. Now it's a hat making factory. You pick the hat online and the order is filled right here. Set it down, there you go. The heat oh, is applied for about a minute to get that All adhesive right. so, working. This is, we're going to leave this one off because you want to do a hot press and then you want to go to a cold press. Once it's pressed in the heat for a second time to eliminate the creases, hey it's ready to ship. That is a good looking lid. Right? The hat goes right into the box and on this day Gonna have you write custom made Brian May. The recipient gets a special note. He's gonna be like, what he's gonna be like, who in the heck is this guy? From, from yours truly. There you go. Hat number two for me goes smoothly as well. And in the end, Mike is kind enough to let me join the Last Stand family. Oh, look at that right there. With my own. It just fits perfect. Yeah, man. Welcome to the Last Stand family. Custom hat. Oh, dude, I'm glad to help out, man. That's awesome. Who knows? Two, two down, you don't have to do today. But, you know, <laughs> I wasn't sure how I was going to make it through the day. But now I can see the end of the tunnel. I appreciate it. This is, I'm going to tell you, when I'm out of town on my honeymoon, you're more than welcome to come. You need me to stop you, by. You swing by. I have all the faith in the world. Those are some nice looking hats. <laughs> I actually own three now. Uh, uh, they're very <laughs> nice hats, actually. And that's the thing about a good hat. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. You can buy a hat anywhere. Mm -hmm. But if it's got to fit just yeah, right. Yeah, I noticed you were kind of molding it a little bit. Fit. These yeah. fit just right. They're really cute. They're very nice. DBU? DBU Defensive Back University is what Texas, you know, is known as because of all the great defensive backs. Yeah, yeah. So that's what that one's for. I love it. It was fun.